Hello everyone, welcome back to the Football Project YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm making another video on Manchester United, this time about the future of the club uh, and what can we expect of the, that future which looks very dark at the moment. Uh, first of all I want to discuss uh, David De Gea. David De Gea's many reports have come out this week, will not be signing a new contract with the club and will leave on a free transfer in the summer of 2020, with Juventus very interested in signing him. Also Pogba. Pogba, as we all know, doesn't want to be here, even though he is our best player, which he will leave next summer for probably Real Madrid. Uh, now, what happens when we don't have these two players? Our squad becomes very basic, there's no world-class players in that squad, and we will need a lot more transfers to come in and I do not expect the club to be making 10 signings that we will probably need next summer because we already need at least a right winger and at least two more central midfielders one more defensive and one uh, more attacking midfielder so if Pogba leaves you need to add another two players to replace Pogba and if the Haya leaves, you need to add uh, another goalkeeper in the mix. So that's at least four players from the midfield. We need to get in at least one goalkeeper. We need to get, probably need to get another defender next season. And we'll probably need another striker and another right winger. So that's already eight players we need to get in next summer, which will never happen with uh, how the club is run. And uh, will never happen with the Glazers in charge of the club. And with us continuing to not sign a director of football and being one of the only clubs in the world that still has no director in football in charge, and we have a businessman running the footballing part of Manchester United, we will never, I don't think we will never be back to the top if we continue with the same vein that we've been doing the past six years. We need the director of football, and if Oli's not the right option, we need to get a manager in that will stay here for at least two to three years to rebuild this club. Uh, now the question with Oli. I personally like Oli a lot. I don't know if he's tactically at the top. He probably isn't, if we're being fair. Uh... It's not going to be easy to last the season because I don't think we'll be finishing in the top four. It will be hard to finish even in the top six with how the squad is and with one injury to Pogba. And I personally think we, we, we're not even a top six side. Uh, Leicester are way better. They have a better 11, better striker, better midfield by far. Maybe the defence is where we have a bit of an advantage and the goalkeeper we have a huge advantage. But you can see there is a lot of teams that want to break in that top six. And if we are not being careful with how the club is being run, we could end up being a very mid-table team that challenges to get into the top six and get into the Europa League. And we might get left behind by the, the rest of the top four. And we are fucking years behind uh, City and Leicester at this point, no City and Liverpool sorry, we are many years behind them, they are by far the two best teams in the Premier League but we are even getting left behind by Arsenal, uh, Spurs have just gone into a Champions League final a few months ago, uh, Chelsea is the only other club that are in kind of the same problems that we have, very inexperienced manager, but they also had a transfer ban as well. Uh, so they will spend a lot next season, I predict. But uh, we don't know if Frank Lampard is the right man for that job. Uh, now, Oli. There are some problems with Oli. Uh, the way we tactically set up to play every game, he needs to find a plan B. Because we have seen in the first four games this season already, We've played incredible against Chelsea. Not even incredible, but just we were very, very clinical and we played very good counter-attacking football. And that's a big problem with the with us right now. We can only play counter-attacking football. Uh, when a team uh, 
when a team just goes into Old Trafford as we saw with uh, Crystal Palace just let us gives us the ball and says break us down we are not able to counter that low block uh, we've seen that with uh, Palace we've seen that with Southampton we've also seen that with Wolves both both this season and last year as well in the two games that we played against them and it's worked every time it's very easy to play against Manchester United uh, you just need to sit back and let United play because United don't have the quality at the moment to break down any good defences. And uh, we've known Liverpool and City have the same problems every week because teams set up defensively and give them the ball to attack, but they have tons more, tons more quality and they've kind of figured out how to break that low block. Only needs needs to get uh, needs to counter that low block by opposition teams or else I don't think he will be making uh, the end of the season if he doesn't figure that out because we will not be, be picking up many points. I will be making a more in-depth video about the tactical side of things and how what problems does the low block bring to United and how we can maybe counter the low block uh, but this will be in another video as this is more of a what if, what happens in the future, this type of thing. Uh, but we need a director of football and some reports have come out that uh, we are looking to sign Edwin van der Sar to be the director of football, which would be brilliant because he's made a fantastic job at Ajax, but personally don't think it, it, this will happen. And we need to figure out what what are we going to do about the future? Do we stick with Oli? Do we not stick with Oli? If not, who do we get in? It's now. It's going to be a very rough couple of years, especially this year and next year. It's going to be very hard for the club. Uh, we could be looking at 7th, 8th again. Uh, it's not going to be pretty at all. And if we lose Pogba and De Gea, which we very likely could, uh, we could have a team with no world-class players in it and uh, with the type of recruitment that we're doing at the moment I'm not very confident about what the future holds for the Manchester United at the moment uh, but I would love to get your opinions in the comments below uh, as I said I will be making a more in-depth tactical video on how United have been lining up this season uh, also, give me any more ideas about videos you might want in the future. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.